Sorry, Ron. Well, well so what are you cooking now? She haven't told us what you're cooking. Yeah. Four English, man. Two eggs, and then the way to crack an egg. <laughs> and then I'll probably wait for the next egg, so. That's an egg. <laughs> English is done. Um. Right, let's get straight into it. Macro has just started, so let's see what we can pull here. I saw the setup was there, uh, it looks good so far, so. Right, and then we're gonna target this high right here. Because DXY is moving bare, no, sorry, bullish, but we've got another high high forming here. So I'm hoping that if this drops, then this will start to push. A new five minute candle forming so that means that we've also entered on a five minute fair value gap this is a five minute fair value gap so i'm hoping that this taps into there and it pushes up it's in the discord if you want to check it out later yeah all right cool bro i look after i look literally after i've done streaming But the FTMO will always be there. It's basically back to drawdown. It's like 0.5%. No, it's 0.5% from being break even. So I've basically got it fresh still. So pretty much for the price of nothing, I've learned so much about my psychology and just, you know, my overall trading in general. Minus sell side liquidity. This was continuing to move bearish. I think I would have been stopped out by now already. So I think it all comes down to just patience now. And I'm going to give this at least to 11 a.m. till I get out of this. 11 New York time, that is. So that's about an hour or 55 minutes. And that's if we don't get stopped out by then. There we go. Candle lit. Please give me funds. Peak settings. Can we get some L's in the chat? Yeah, that's us gone. Nah, this one isn't FTMO, this is on instant funding. If you've got a combine, a combination of a one minute fair value gap and a five minute fair value gap, most people would be taking that now. Who wouldn't take that? But the inverse fair value gap traders have won today. They, we could try the 1050 macro and just size down to four lots. What, what do you guys think? Should we size down to four lots and try and try and win this next trade? The 1050 macros in 10 minutes, or should I just leave it for today and go again tomorrow? Leave or risk a really low amount of money. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. Might as well look at the 1050 and see how it goes. See what we do come out with. If this goes down and displaces, we've got a fair value gap. <sighs> fair value gap to be able to enter on. A pretty strong setup got coming along here. No, but it seems, it just it does seem like it would be quite nice. And that is price now displaced. So if we then, if this fair value gap still forms, then we can getting on a retracement 1.27152 in daily drawdown so i'm hoping this can be a really nice sell-off now 
Fuck. We been on the block, them niggas stupid if they say we hide. I roll with killers, demons, jackers, but I'm some pimping. I just look like this, best believe I'm never slipping. When we slide, everybody die, we don't leave no witness. Put this barrel down his mouth, he gon' meet the dentist. In my we been on the block, them niggas stupid if they say we hide. I roll with killers, demons, jackers, but I'm some pimping. I just look like this, best believe I'm never slipping. When we slide, everybody die, we don't leave no witness. Put this barrel down his mouth, he gon' meet the dentist. In my Whatever happens, happens. No risk, no Rari. No risk, no story. And... Should have got out when it came out to that level again. God damn. God damn. I would have mercy. Yeah, this is changing character. Oh. Hey, yo, A Ten's always flexing. Just closed up four hundred. Um, after originally losing 560, now uh, it's actually 336 because of commission, so bloody hell.